And what have I got to show for it? Nothing. A butler's uniform and a slightly effeminate hairdo. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Megan Ruth. I'm a Canadian living in London, England, and I react to British things. So today I'm going to be reacting to Blackadder, the third episode five. I have reacted to the previous episodes already. If you wanted to watch those, I have a playlist devoted to it. I'll post a link to that down below. Just like the majority of my reactions, this video will be edited. If you wanted to see the unedited reaction, I'll also post a link to my Patreon down below. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, especially my top tier patrons, Joseph, Brian, Reese, Kane, Robin, Hypnobob, Chris, Emil, Julian, Steve-O, Patrick, Lloyd, Sean, Danny, Mark, Sadie, Ten, Hi, Chris, 1980, RG, Rob, Dan, and CJR. Let's just get started, shall we? Oh, God. Bills, bills, bills. One is born, one runs up bills, one dies. Now, what have I got to show for it? Yes, Baldick, let us not forget that you tried to solve the problem of your mother's low ceiling by cutting off her head. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really good one. You become a dashing highway man. It's halfway to being the new Robin Hood. My only halfway. Well, he steals from the rich, but he hasn't got round to giving it to the poor. <laughs> I've got a poster of him. Well, Rick, I have no desire to get hung for wearing a silly hat. Well, yes, old fellow. I was wondering if you could possibly lend me a bit of cash. But of course, Sarah. Cash? <laughs> yes! Uh. I'm rotten, stinking, stony, stinking broke. And then the object of the game is to give away all your money as quickly as possible. You know it? Oh, no. Vaguely, sir, yes. Well, all the chaps say I'm terrific at it. I seem to remember I was very bad at it. I always seem to end up with more money than I started with. Yeah. Well, it's all down to practice. I'm a natural, apparently. <laughs> the only drawback, of course, is that it's pretty damned expensive. So basically, I was wondering if you could lend me a couple of hundred. Marry? Never. I'm a gay bachelor, Blackadder. I'm a roarer, a rogerer, a gorger, and a... When gay means something completely different now than it did back then. Just saying. I mean, he might actually mean gay. I don't know. What is black adder? They might be using that word purposely. Well, this was the 80s, so gay meant gay back in the 80s. I think they used that word purposefully. <laughs> Puker. <laughs> I can't marry. I'm young. I'm firm buttock time. They've got to be lovers, laughers, dancers, and bonkers. <laughs> well, that goes without saying. <laughs> Oh, God. Of the 262 princesses in Europe, 165 are over 80, they're out. 47 are under 10, they're out. And 39 are mad. Well, they sound ideal. Well, they would be if they hadn't all got married last week in Munich to the same horse. Which leaves us with two. And what about them? Oh, there's Grand Duchess Sophia of Turin. We'll never get her to marry him. Why not? Because she's met him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Times has really gone downhill recently. <laughs> ah, listen to this. Listen to this. Mysterious Northern beauty, Miss Amy Hardwood, comes to London and spends flipping great wadges of cash. <laughs> That's our baby. Yes, they pull your britches down and push a large radish. Yes, right yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to hammer it home. <laughs> As a matter of fact, they do off. No, no! Tally ho, my fine, saucy young trollop! Now let's see. Trip along here with all your cash and some naughty night attire, and you'll be staring at my bedroom ceiling from now till Christmas, you lucky tart! <laughs> Yours with the deepest respect, etc. Signed George. P.S. Woof, woof! <laughs> well, what do you think? It's very moving, sir. <laughs> um, would you mind if I change just one tiny aspect of it? Which one? The words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I'll, I'll leave the details to you, Blackadder. Just make sure she knows I'm all man. With a bit of animal thrown in. <laughs> <laughs> sir. This is my nosies, Tony. And we, madam. <laughs> oh, it's Miranda Richardson! Oh, yay! I missed her in this series, yeah. Oh, she was so great as Queen Elizabeth in the second series, or Black Out of the Second. Oh, yay. <laughs> My nosy is tiny. I'm so weak that I sometimes think the pixies gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I no more place her in the hands of an unworthy man than I place my John Thomas in the hands of a lunatic with a pair of scissors. <laughs> An attitude that does you credit. But I've often thought I'd like to. Oh, well, don't. It's a ghastly place. <laughs> Huge gangs of tough, sinewy men roam the valleys, terrifying people with their close harmony singing. <laughs> you need half a pint.
kind of phlegm in your throat just to pronounce the place name. <laughs> There is an inkle of truth about the place names, definitely. It's a very phlegmy language, <laughs> but as someone who's half Welsh, I feel like I can say that. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Never ask for directions in Wales, Baldrick. You'll be washing spit out of your hair for a fortnight. <laughs> Call for her romantically. What? <clears throat> Oi, come on out here, you loving, <laughs> solving, sauce buckle! <laughs> Woof woof! <laughs> y y yes, yes, tis I, your gorgeous little love bundle. Oh, Is there someone else down there with you? Uh, no, 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 it was just the wind whistling through the trees and making a noise that sounded like. <laughs> He wants your daughter Amy for his wife. Well, his wife can't tell her. such a suggestion. Mine, sir, or I shall take off my belt and by thunder, my trousers will fall down. Oh sir, so you misunderstand. He wants to marry your lovely daughter. Oh. So you're skint. Aye. Well, in that case, the wedding's off. Good day. You know I told you to go out and spend a lot of money on wedding presents. Well, a pet. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Nothing. Oh God! Oh, sir, you're not going to become a highwayman, are you? No, I'm auditioning for the part of Arnold the Bat in Sheridan's new comedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all right. Then. Well, in that case, madam, I think I'll leave it. I'm not sure I fancy the idea of a jewel that's been in someone's pants. <laughs> No kiss of those soft lips is all I require. Never, sir. A man's soft lips is his own private kingdom. <laughs> I shall defend them with my life. <laughs> to you, grandad. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I'm overcome. Take me with you to live the life of the wild rogue, cuddling under haystacks and making love in the branches of tall trees. Madam, sadly, I must decline. I fear my horse would collapse with you on top of him as well. <laughs> See, I've never understood the whole, I kind of understand the mystery of the mass mystery man trope. I, I've kind of understood it as in like, it's, oh, it's a mystery, you know, he's uh, dangerous and exciting and everything. But also, like, what if he takes the mask off and you're just not attracted to him and you just think he's ugly? Like, that's, that's another risk. Maybe she doesn't actually want to kiss him. Maybe she just wants to kiss the idea of him. Oh my god, this got way too deep for my liking. Okay, we're gonna go back to the comedy, okay? <laughs> oh, that's not fair then! I've had you on my back for ten miles, I haven't even got a kiss out of it! <laughs> oh, all right, very well then. <laughs> all fair now? Not really, no. This robbery, on the other hand, I'm doing alone. Hand it over, your money or your life. Oh my god. <laughs> all fair and above board. Fair enough. As long as I haven't been cheated, I don't mind. Hands up. <laughs> I'm a shadow. I never miss. Oh, I see a kiss. Oh, of course, of course, of course. And then perhaps a little light supper, some dancing. Who, who knows where it might be? <laughs> Good Lord, it's you. Of course. But your voice, it's... Clever, isn't it? Does your father know you're out? He had to go. Yes, I crave your fabulous sinewy body. Well, you're only human. <laughs> Here's the plan, brown eyes. You rob the prince of everything he's got, then we'll run away to the West Indies. Well, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. <laughs> I've thought about it. It's a brilliant plan. <laughs> I'll see you here tomorrow. <laughs> oh, sir, but what about... I was not expecting that, to be fair. That was a twist that I did not see coming. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Three humans on earth, I'd be trying to start a family with Baldrick. <laughs> oh, ouch! Oh. Well, here I am. Hand over the loop, goat brains. <laughs> I, I always said the bedrock of a good relationship is being able to laugh together. Thank you for introducing me to a genuinely new experience. What experience is that? Being pleased to see you. <laughs> now, what are you doing here, you revolting animal? Baldrick? Take this cartload of loot back to the palace and meet me back here at midnight. Oh my god, she's been arrested and hanged! <laughs> really? <laughs> it turns out she was a highway.
wait a minute. It says here that she had an accomplice. <laughs> but they don't know who it was. <laughs> Amy, 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 I shall never forget you. Never, ever, never, ever. Right, what's for breakfast? <laughs> the biscuit barrel. And do you know what I found inside? Ten thousand pounds that I never knew I had. I got so much money now, I don't know what to do with it. How about a game of cards? <laughs> Excellent idea. Amazing! Ah, oh, amazing! The tray dropping and then like undropping was a brilliant moment. Wow, such a great show. Um, I feel like I say that after every reaction to this, but it's so true. And it was so great to see Miranda Richardson again. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. See you next time. Bye.